East at four miles per hour, kind of jogging now uh, into northeastern uh, North Carolina. We'll be crossing into Norfolk in the next couple of hours. And you notice a lot of rain, most of it to the east of I-95. Again, a lot of it is along the coast and even in the Chesapeake Bay. Let's go over to the live eight new storm tracker radar. You can certainly see we are looking at some showers in and around portions of Charles City County over to areas like around uh, New Kent County. In fact, we'll kind of give you an idea of where some of those showers are. We'll zoom into the map for you. Come on now, help me out here. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Grab that tool there. And you can note, uh, again, really along I-64 between Williamsburg to about King William, King and Queen County, West Point, Saluda. The deeper greens here indicating some steadier showers, the lighter blues, uh, more of that uh, light shower at times, uh, something that'll allow you to get a quick sprinkle or so. Uh, as we notice uh, some of those areas in and around Tawano, you can see over toward Holly Forks, a better chance of those showers. Certainly not the biggest of deals by any means, but some showers are out there. Some of those will stay uh, pretty heavy at times, and other times you won't see anything at all. So there's some good news with this. All right, here's what's happening today. We have 73 in uh, Richmond right now, 69 in Ashland, 71 in Fredericksburg, low 70s out toward Petersburg this morning. Your forecast continuing with the clouds, showers, and thunder showers. Look, not a washout by any means, a high of 83. But again, a brief period of rain cannot be ruled out because this is a tropical system of more on your eight day forecast in a couple of minutes let's go back over to you now all right matt thanks starbucks is offering a new way to enjoy your favorite beverage without all the calories but it's only for a limited time we'll tell you how you can enjoy the mini drink and we've all heard of swimming with sharks but would you ever consider riding on one amazing video of a group of teens doing just that coming up Eight News Closed Captioning is sponsored by AAA. Great advice, great insurance. All new eyes. Women who lost half their body weight. Transformation is so amazing. You have to see it to believe it. If you think you can't lose weight, think again. How they did it, so you can too. Plus, rip a page from Lala Anthony's Power Playbook. You can be great at more than one thing. How she went from the bottom to the top. Lala sharing her rules. All new Oz. Today at 3 on TV. The Memorial Day savings start now at Mattress Discounters. Save up to $300 on a Tempur-Pedic Breeze mattress. Plus, get a free gift card worth up to $300. But only at Mattress Discounters. From start to finish, I couldn't have been happier. And when I called them back because I had a problem, they came out and fixed it free of charge. See-through windows and their no fine print lifetime warranty is why I choose them over the competitors. Our windows, our guarantee, see-through windows. Meet Sally. She just consolidated her credit card bills and now saves 200 bucks a month. New Generation's Federal Credit Union helped her, and they can help you. Give us a call to see how. New Generations. Discover the power of our credit union. At iMart Express, only one thing looks as good as you in our glasses. Our prices. For a limited time, get two pairs with single vision lenses for only $39.71. Or two pairs with no-line bifocals for just $76.92. All with a free one-year frame warranty. And with our one-hour service, you can buy today, wear today. Prices like $39.71 for two complete pairs won't last. So come in today and get your glasses for less at iMart Express. Seriously injured? Don't wait. Call 8. After an accident, people don't always know if they have a case. The only way to be sure is to call a lawyer. Sometimes we find out that you actually have a stronger case than you originally thought. Just call Jeff. If you don't need a lawyer, we'll tell you. If you do, we'll help you. There's no risk, no obligation, and the case evaluation is always free. Don't wait. Call 8. Jeff McDonald and Associates. 804-888-8888. What does the daredevil feel before he revs his engine? What is he thinking before he enters the inferno? You tell us. Jim Pesto, the daring new roller coaster, has arrived at Bush Gardens. Inspired by the greatest daredevils in history for the daredevil in you. Get unlimited visits with an annual pass from $11 a month. Tim Pesto, new at Bush Gardens. Play on it. Play on it. Save the Memorial Day savings start now at Mattress Discounters.
Connors. Get our lowest prices ever. Mattresses start at just $78. Connors. Eight News Storm Tracker Weather is sponsored by Bruce's Super Body Shops, where you never pay more than your deductible. Welcome back, 918 here on your Monday morning. Let's take a live look outside the roadways. I-64 here as you're heading over uh, in the broad Glenside area. East and westbound lanes looking pretty good this morning. A good amount of activity there, but no major tie-ups. Here's also a check at I-64 a little bit further towards the east in Mechanicsville Turnpike. Traffic there, not, <coughs> excuse me, not an issue at all. Well, now we're going to move over to I-95 near uh, Bells Road. Showing you there that north and southbound lanes are looking okay. And another stop over to Staples Mill on I-64 there. Traffic east and westbound looking pretty good with no big backups at all and no incidents to report so far this morning. As you look north side, at Liam on an interchange, uh, 95 through Hanover County up towards Fredericksburg, you're quiet. 295, 64 interchange in the west end. Uh, no real issues until you get to the merger with Broad and uh, 64 eastbound. A few brake lights there, but nothing more than that. Back over to you. All right, thanks, Tim. We want to take a look now at the weekend box office. It might be its second week in theaters, but the Age of Ultron, the new Avengers movie, still topping ticket sales. The Avengers sequel pulled in an estimated $77.2 million over the weekend, bringing its total earnings to more than $312 million. Still slightly behind the original movie at this same time period. Coming in second, the Reese Witherspoon, Sofia Vergara comedy Hot Pursuit. Didn't have such hot ticket sales. Movie brought in a disappointing $13 million. That's about $5 million less than expected. And in third, The Age of Adeline earned $5.6 million in its third weekend in theaters. Are Frappuccinos just too much sugar for you? Well, Starbucks is now offering a mini version of the coffee drink to help you quench your thirst. Starting today through July 6th, you can try a new 10-ounce drink. The pint-sized frapp is only 120 calories and just 24 grams of sugar. Hmm. That's a good idea there. Well, Lewis Ginter Botanical Gardens celebrated Moms this Mother's Day with a very special concert. Glenroy Bailey and company performed at the gardens Sunday afternoon. There were also cool activities for the kids, and they showered moms with handmade cards and flowers made out of recycled material. You know the old saying, a picture's worth a thousand words? Well, one mother's photo of her two-year-old son may have been worth his life. After looking at a photo she took on her iPhone, Julie Fitzgerald noticed something in the back of her son Avery's eye. Look at the picture there. She took her son to a specialist who told her that 75% of Avery's eye actually covered in tumors. If they'd waited much longer, it could have spread to his brain and his blood. He took a picture. I did not want to take the picture because I just had this dreaded feeling in the pit of my stomach. And I took the picture, and sure enough, I took it of all three boys, and the other two were fine, and then his picture, boom. I mean, his whole pupil was just white. So, yeah, that's when I... How about that? Avery will eventually get a prosthetic eye. The good news, they believe all the cancer in his eye has been removed, and wow. it did not spread. Amazing story. We had another story like this about a year and a half two years ago with a little girl and her mom had taken her picture and somebody said, there's something in that eye, you need to go get it looked at. And it was wow. a tumor like that. It's mm. very, very rare, but in cases like that, cell phone cameras, the way that they work, they kind of reflect it. It's incredible. Good timing, good thing she saw it when she did. Yeah. All right. We want to go over to Matt now to talk about uh, Tropical Depression, Anna. Is it still Tropical Depression? Just, What's just, she become after that? Remnants? <laughs> Remnant low. Yes, yeah, exactly storm. right. Yeah, just kind of leftovers, if you will. And it really is close to that with winds at 15 miles per hour drifting off to the northeast at 4 miles per hour. And again, we're starting to see it slowly push its way uh, toward Norfolk by about 2 o'clock this afternoon and then out into the Atlantic Ocean by later tonight, so this will become a non-issue, I'd say, after 5 or 6 o'clock this evening. Now, this morning, we are still looking at some showers out there. Let's take a look at your live 8 New Storm track radar from Kilmarnock to Fairport, back to Jamaica and Farnham. Saluti, you're seeing some showers. Uh, the greens here indicating we're seeing some steadier rains. The lighter blues, more of that uh, kind of drizzly, misty stuff going on. That continues back down toward West Point, over to Providence Forge. A few little spotty showers here in and around Mechanics. 
Clarksville to Mango Hick along US Highway, either 301 or 360, almost to Aylet, and a few little spotty sprinkles, it looks like, back over towards Short Pump. But right now, we are only seeing just those showers. Look at the big picture, and there's a good amount of rain, but a lot of it's staying off to the east, out in the Atlantic Ocean. The system, again, kind of slowly churning its way now, uh, just kind of south and west of Elizabeth City, or at least the E in my Elizabeth City denotation, heading up toward Norfolk again. So kind of working on track. I expect a few more showers should develop along I-95 and points south and east. Your forecast for today, again, keeping the uh, ugly look to it, but it's not going to be a washout. 77 degrees, uh, heavy clouds, certainly at noontime, some scattered showers and thunder showers, a possibility. We'll top out at 83 today around 3 o'clock. And then as we look at this evening, we're nice and quiet with mostly cloudy skies. Here's a quick look at your uh, future cast. 1030 again, a shot of some showers here, maybe a wrap up back to us, and then notice by 2.30 this thing is winding down. And it, this may be way overplayed. Tomorrow we're going to get some sunshine. Warm up to 91. Watch out for late day storms. Some could be strong to severe. 79 on Wednesday, 73 Thursday, and Friday 80. Don't forget, every weekday morning on Good Morning Richmond between 6 and 7 a.m., we give you a chance to win a MasterCard $500 gift card. You watch, you win. If you're the eighth caller, we give you that special phone number. It's that simple. You're watching 8 News at 9, 924. We'll be right back. It says here that Richmond is the happiest city in the country. Why is that? Beauty, history, plumbing. Plumbing? Well, sure, R.J. Tilly. A plumber who can fix anything? Guaranteed. <laughs> Richmond should be happy about that. What makes me happy is this ham and tomato sandwich you made. Funny you should say that. R.J. Tilly made this kitchen. Plumbing, <laughs> new kitchens and baths. Get R.J. Tilly, Richmond's plumber for generations. You'll be happy you did. OnlyCompare.com lets you compare multiple car insurance rates, apples, to, well, apples. And some car insurance rates are sweeter than others, like apples. It's easy at Compare.com, with quotes from more than 30 top providers, all right there, side by side. Enter your input once in...